Right, so everybody has heard about PRP when it comes to the use for hair rejuvenation or facial rejuvenation. Today I want to talk about all the latest advances since PRP. A lot has happened in the past few years. So let's start with sort of the next level of what happens after that, which is PRF, plasma rich fibrin. So this is actually a segment of the platelets that have these granules and within them, they're able to have these cell mediators or stem cells that actually allow the growth of hair, moving the hair follicles from the sleeping phase or hibernation phase to an active growth phase. Uh, we use it a lot for scalp and hair rejuvenation. All PRF, think of it as sort of being an, a little boost past the PRP. The next level is exosomes. So what are exosomes? Exosomes are when we take just a teaspoon of fat, we're able to get inside the cells. And the reason is because fat cells have the highest level of stem cells that we know per cubic gram of tissue. So for every cell that we have, you have a very, very high level. The problem is that you can't get inside it. So if you do liposuction and just put the fat in, you're not gonna get the stem cell benefit. However, if you're able to process it and get inside, you can access it and be able to get maximal effect.